Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use ACME DNS as the DNS provider to obtain SSL certificate through traffic. Let's get started. First of all, let me open my terminal and log into my server. And then I need to open my browser, go to my website. There are a number of reasons you want to use DNS authentication. For example, if you want to use a wildcard certificate, or if you don't want to expose the port 80 of your server, you need to use DNS authentication. On the official website, traffic has listed down all the supported providers here. If your domain registration is not listed here, and you don't want to change your DNS management to, um, let's say Cloudflare, you can use ACME DNS uh, for DNS authentication. Let me show you how. So let me just go back to my server. As you can see, it is a clean server uh, with uh, no running ports and, sorry, no running containers and nothing in the folder. Um, so I will start from scratch. If you have watched my videos before, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, start making some folders and files and filling the content. Let me just enlarge this file, web page. So the first file we need to do is docker compose file and um, we need to change the domain from your domain to my domain, right? And the second one is the static configuration files. Static configuration files and you want to substitute your domain to that save. And the next one is the dynamic configuration file. All, all done. Let me go back to my article. There are several things we need to change. The first one, if we take a look at our static configurations files, we can see we've got two certificate resolvers here, and both of them are using the HTTP challenge here. So we will need something for DNS challenge. Um, I've got one here. This is for using Let's Encrypt as the certificate provider and using DNS challenge and ACME DNS as the DNS provider. So let me just copy from here because this one has better indentation. So let me just copy that and paste. We need to change the domain here. And we also need to change our default certificate resolver from Let's Encrypt, which is using HTTP challenge, to the DNS one, LE DNS. So let's go to, okay, so it should be, yeah, DNS. Okay, save it. So the next one we need to add is two environment variables here to traffic because we are using ACMG DNS provider. Uh, we need to provide this to environment variable. So the first environment variable is the URL of your ACMG DNS server. I'm using the official ones here. If you self hosted your own ACMG DNS instance, you need to change the URL here. The second one is the storage path. So as you can see, I'm mounting uh, a file at, on the host inside my container at the root level. Um, I just name it ACME hyphen DNS. You can change the name to whatever you want. So let me just go back to the Docker compose file. And then I can just copy here. Um, this one as well. Okay. And then I need to create this file, of course. It is inside data folder. So touch data ACME hyphen DNS. All right, that's um, pretty much everything we need to start our um, uh, traffic uh, dashboard and get the uh, certificate from DNS authentication. But I want to do one extra thing, which is requiring a wildcard certificate for the dashboard. So how do we do that? Let's go back to official website and click Let's Encrypt. There is an example here. 
So we need to add these three labels back to our Docker Compose file. I'll explain later what those are doing. Let me tell you what these three labels are doing. So for these three labels, um, I'm telling traffic to obtain a wildcard certificate. The main domain for the certificate will be fom.top and there will be a send, which is a wildcard send on the certificate. Uh, so because I'm um, kind of manually requesting the certificate myself, I need to tell traffic uh, what's the certificate resolver I'm using. In this case, LE DNS. If you're manually changing your TLS settings, you will need to tell traffic uh, which DNS, um, sorry, which certificate resolver you, are, you want to use. So the last step is to substitute um, block to, yep, that's all we need. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Looks good. It takes a while for um, traffic to generate a... Uh... All right, we can stop. So let's have a look. Yep, as we can see, We've got something here. So basically it is um, the ACM DNS could not um, get the certificate for now because I haven't created the CN record, CNAME records as yet. So I need to create a CNAME record to um, point to underscore, sorry, go back to here, point to underscore ACM hyphen challenge dot my domain to this value. So let me just do it. Okay, so the record has been added. So we can see if it's available now. Okay, I don't have dig here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, as you can see, we've got um, this value, 9AB2. Um, starting with 9AB2, okay, looking good, ending with 9438, ending with 9438, okay, so we should be ready, so let's run again. Okay, and let's go to traffic dot top. Okay, I forgot to add my DNS A record, so now it's added, let's start traffic again. Up. Okay. Here. Okay, let's wait for it. That could be a cage. Okay. Let's have a look. All right, so that's the certificate we want. As you can see here, we've got a DNS name and DNS name, right? And the common name is our common name. All right, so that's that's very simple. And if you want to say, I want to add a different um, services and um, different domain name, basically, can I do that? Of course, so let me just um, run traffic in the background. And let's just create a simple um, Nginx server. All right, so let's go to blog and docker compose.yaml. And I've got, um, got it ready here. Yep, so you can see it's a very simple one. So basically the domain I'm using here is a very simple domain, blog. Dot uh, my the other domain so you can um, assume that this is um, let's say from a different registry okay let me just save it and 
let me just star okay let's stop well, let's have a look let's have a look data ACME DNS so we have another one this is another C name record we need to add. So let me just create that record. Okay, let's have a look. Dig dot ui dot id dot au C name. Okay, so we can see here it's ready. Okay, let's go to Okay, so from the demonstration you can see that um, both of my dashboard and my domain are different domains so um, you just need to create a C name record for each of the domain, and um, basically traffic can get whatever certificate you you want for you. For this one, it's a wildcard, and for the other one, it will be just a single domain certificate. All right, that's all I want to show you today. If you have any questions, please leave your comment down below, um, and I will try my best to help you. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.